Jaffa cakes, jelly babies, wine gums, sports drinks, and orange quarters. These are all great options to give you a boost at halftime during a match. Yes, on training days, you should add in extra snacks to support your training, fueling with extra food before and recovering afterwards. It's a good idea to add in a couple of carbohydrate snacks one hour before a training session, like a banana, cereal bar, smoothie, or some raisins. After training, all players should be recovering with a recovery snack immediately after. A handy and quick recovery snack is a pint of milk and a banana, or if you're hungry, bring a lunchbox with a meal prepared, like chicken, veg, and pasta. Not all fats are bad. In fact, the opposite is true. Unsaturated fats from oily fish, avocados, olive oil, nuts, and seeds are all really good for us. They're good for our hearts because they help our arteries to be flexible. This is great news for young rugby players because they're also really high in calories and they can be really useful for helping you to gain weight. Saturated fats are the other type of fat and these come from animal sources. At the moment, the science is mixed, but it's advised that you limit your intake of saturated fats, which may be bad for the heart. You can do this by cutting off the excess fat of your meat, by grilling and baking rather than frying and roasting, and by limiting your intake of fatty foods like sausages, cakes, biscuits and butter. Mm -hmm.